Hello. Hi. Congratulations on the show. Uh, how's it going so far? It's going great. Uh, amazing. Yeah, thrilled to be here. <laughs> We're at WonderCon. It's great. All right, both of you in the show play kind of tech-savvy people. You're, you know, digital security. You take care of Ziggy. Try to take care of Ziggy as much as Ziggy, you know, Thank you. has a, quite the personality. This is on try, for sure. <laughs> um, are you guys, uh, you know, in real life tech-savvy? Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I can already tell you, not so much over here. Um, no, no. I'm often terrible. will come to me with like in very, very hilariously simple Instagram questions about like, how do I repost the thing to my story? But that's you're the young person on the cast. I know, and I, know I know, I know. Young people are great for. <laughs> that's why we're a good team. Yeah. But um, I yeah, in real life, I thought there was an alternate like universe version of me that was going to go into computer sciences and and uh, my dad works with computers and works for the government so Ian is kind of like uh, I think both a, a love letter and like an ode to him and also I mean obviously in the most sci-fi version of it um, but also like an ode to another version of myself that might have existed at some point. And I would say that while I'm not tech savvy I'm super sassy Yes. and I feel like in an alt reality could have been a dangerous felon so that's where my personal experience Right? 100%. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, when it comes to acting, you know, it gives you guys the, oppor- uh, the opportunity to, you know, explore these roles, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it makes us learn a lot of fancy words we otherwise wouldn't know. <laughs> we recite very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, were you guys a fan of the original Quantum Leap? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I watched the original with uh, my dad growing up, and so when this opportunity came around, I mean, I was pretty thrilled, as as was my father. Um, and so now, yeah, now I get occasional phone calls from my parents, like, you know, them giving their opinions about what they felt about the episode, and I think it's just, it's just been awesome. It's been a great um, experience getting to sort of continue a show that I really loved as a kid, and uh, especially I think with the team that we have and the way that we're doing it in a way that to me feels very current day and modern. And in that case, how do you feel that in this new series here, Pays Homage, or kind of continues on the legacy of the first one? Yeah, I think in the way that, I think we've kept some of those core principles, you know, really sort of spreading empathy and understanding and love and, and, and re- I mean, you kind of boil it down to just trying to be a good person, you know, and trying to restore sort of faith in humanity and, uh, right, each other and learning about each other in the process. And um, I think we've done a good job of retaining those things, I think. This is a very diverse cast, and obviously you can tell just by this room here, it's a lot of good energy. How is that on? How does that translate on set and then when you guys shoot? Oh, man, it probably makes everyone else's job so difficult comparatively. Like, I feel like if we didn't like each other, things would go by faster. But, <laughs> but we're always just, I mean, even Ernie, like the last person you would ever expect to be full of shenanigans. Like, he is full of shenanigans. Especially and after we'll, lunch. Just we'll ruin takes after lunch just to make people <laughs> laugh. We'll just, like, do stuff to try to, like, make us crack up. Um, so it's good. It's, you know, you want to love the people that you work with. And especially, like, you know, what we were talking about with the show is so rooted around around the human experience and around uh, being like the empathy that is required to walk into another individual's shoes and truly be able to understand them and I feel like the love that we all have for each other as a cast is very helpful in being able to sell that reality because it isn't necessarily like idyllic by any means I think it's realistic it is realistic of what the world looks like when you get a group of like-minded individuals together who may be from completely different walks of life and different ages and different, you know, genders and sexualities and races. And like, when it really comes down to it and really boils down to it, none of that matters at the core of like what we all need as human beings. They're all aspects that completely define, you know, um, who we are, but, but, but we can all connect over very, very, very simple things. And it's like, it's the greatest thing in the world. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Congratulations on the show. Look forward to seeing some more. Thanks. Thank you so much.